Back at home, significant strides are being made in the fruit and vegetable sector through the Seven Crops Project. The program is spearheaded by the Ministry of Agriculture with support from the Government of Taiwan. Several techniques have been employed to improve the operations of participating farmers. Production scheduling is one strategy. Eric Chen, production specialist with the Taiwanese Technical Mission, elaborated on the technique during an appearance on the program Agriculture on the Move. The production scheduling was actually invented uh, for just a long-term crop. Let's take uh, pineapple as an example, since it's one of the seven crops in, in the project. Right. So uh, when you try to deal, okay, so when you apply the ethyphon or the ethrin mm -hmm. to induce a flower, to make the pineapple flower earlier, to meet the demand of the market, mm -hmm. or you use uh, oxymon to delay the flower, also to meet the demand, the of, demand the of the market. That's called the production scheduling. Edward Wilson, technical production officer with the Taiwanese Technical Mission, explained that the use of hoop greenhouses aids farmers in controlling the production of crops, especially during the rainy season. The hoop greenhouse is primarily to aid with cantaloupe and honey to production on the island. It was not brought in here to replace our traditional tunnel greenhouse. Okay. Now, um, what, we've, what we did, we trialed one at our demonstration farm in Union, and we, f we went on to further um, establish two of these hoop greenhouses in every region on the island. So we have about eight regions on the island, so you can see there are about two. However, these, are, these two hoop greenhouses have already passed demonstration phases. What we did is that we established one, in my, there are microclimates in each region, so in a hotter climate in one region, and in that same region there's a cooler climate. So we trial these hoop greenhouses in each of these climates, so then we can see how effective it does with the Kandaban and Edu production. Wilson says the use of hoop greenhouses has proven to be effective in improving the quality and yield of the produce. Technical Production Officer with the Taiwanese Technical Mission, Edward Wilson, appearing on Agriculture on the Move, Ed on NTN.